When we first heard the wow signal, the silence of the universe broke for a few seconds. A sound from somewhere far away, as if it was speaking to us. Now, after 48 years, that silence has come alive again and is speaking to us with the arrival of a traveler from the same side of the sky. On August 15, 1977, a warm night in Ohio, the Big Ear Radio Telescope was listening to the sky in the silence of the night. Until the silence of the universe broke. On the printer tape, a sequence of numbers and letters appeared that no one had seen before. 6 E Q U J 5. And next to it, one of the scientists, Jerry Eman, wrote just one word in red pen. Wow. Right there. Without knowing it, he named one of the greatest mysteries in the history of cosmology. That signal lasted only 72 seconds, but it remained forever. Its power was about 30 times stronger than the background noise, coming from the Sagittarius constellation area, right near the center of the Milky Way galaxy. And most importantly, it was recorded at the 1420 MHz frequency. This 1420 MHz frequency relates to the 21 centimeter transition of neutral hydrogen atoms, a radiation that exists naturally throughout the galaxy. For this reason, astronomers consider it the universal frequency of intelligence. Because if another civilization wants to send a message based on what humanity knows, this is the best possible language, a language that the entire universe understands. The WOW was not just a pulse, it was like a targeted message, narrow, focused, and precise. Astronomers scanned that region again weeks later, but no sound returned. It was as if someone knocked once and then disappeared. It was this non-repetition that turned the WOW signal into an intriguing historical case. The SETI project has searched for its repetition many times since then, but each time only heard silence. In the following decades, various hypotheses were proposed. Some said it might have come from a comet passing through that area at the time. The hydrogen cloud around the comet might have acted like a natural maser, but the density and power needed to create a signal as strong as WOW have not yet been explained. Another group said it might have been a magnetar or a stellar explosion that emitted a short pulse of energy. All of these are possible, but none repeated. Neither that comet nor that region gave any signal again. If no sufficient natural explanation is found, some scientists suggest its origin might be artificial or due to intelligent technology, but there is no direct evidence. At that time, newspaper headlines were filled with the question, was this the voice of aliens? But after a while, the discussion subsided. The world moved on to other mysteries. But for some, that pulse was not yet over. It was like an unfinished sentence from the heart of the cosmos remained. A sentence that, after nearly half a century of silence, is now sending its second part. From the same side of the sky, an unknown object is approaching. Green, massive, and interstellar. Its name is 3i slash Atlas, and perhaps it relates to that old conversation. But what could it have been? Recently, scientists have proposed interesting natural explanations. For example, in 2017, Antonio Paris suggested that the signal might have come from the hydrogen cloud around comet 266p slash Christensen, which was exactly in the same spot in the sky when the signal arrived. This comet has a large hydrogen cloud that can produce radio signals, but this idea was not fully accepted because the signal was too strong. Then, in 2024, a team of astronomers suggested that the signal might have come from a maser flare, like a natural laser, 
caused by the excitation of a hydrogen cloud by a magnetar or neutron star. These ideas have been published in reputable magazines like Ars Technica and seem quite logical. But why wasn't it repeated? This is where the mystery begins. Maybe it really is natural, or maybe something else. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, began in 1960 with Project Ozma, and the WOW signal was one of the strongest candidates, but without repetition, it's hard to prove. Recently, with advanced telescopes like the Allen Telescope Array, scientists are scanning thousands of stars, but they haven't found a signal like WOW yet. Now, what if this signal came from a moving object? Let's see who our new hero entering the scene is. 3i slash Atlas, the third interstellar visitor we've seen so far. This giant was identified on July 1, 2025 by the Atlas Telescope Network in Hawaii and Chile. A comet with a nucleus size of 1 to 10 kilometers, perhaps even larger, its mass estimated at about 30 to 35 billion tons, considering probable densities similar to icy comets, and a speed indicating it came from outside our solar system. This object is much larger than Oumuamua and Borisov, a major anomaly, as interstellar comets are usually lighter. It recently passed by Mars, and images from NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Hubble Telescope show that its gas halo is expanding. But is its acceleration normal? No, Atlas has non-gravitational acceleration that is likely due to asymmetric gas ejection but its intensity is greater than usual in known comets. This acceleration usually comes from gas ejection, but in Atlas, it is stronger and may indicate unusual activities. One of the strange things about Atlas is its bright green color. It was first red, then suddenly turned green, something that usually comes from carbon molecules like dicarbon. But the amount of these molecules is low, and this change happened too soon, at a distance where such changes are not usually observed. Researchers say it might have changed from dust to gas, but they haven't fully explained it. Then, the metal ratio. The Very Large Telescope, VLT, has shown that the nickel to iron ratio in Atlas is about 10 times higher than in solar system comets, meaning less iron and far more nickel than usual. These metals should not be present in the gas halo around the comet at such temperatures, because the temperature is too low for metal sublimation. The authors of the article in the Astronomy Journal called it extremely puzzling. In addition, estimates put the size of Atlas's nucleus between 1 and 10 kilometers, some models suggest a larger size, and its enormous mass turns Atlas into an exceptional object. For comparison, Oumuamua was only a few hundred meters, and Borisov about one kilometer. Atlas is like a floating city in space. Recent observations from James Webb and Hubble show that Atlas has unexpected activity, like the expansion of the gas halo at 1.4 astronomical units from the Sun, which is earlier than usual. These anomalies have prompted astronomers to propose new hypotheses, including that spectral analysis of Atlas shows its chemical composition differs from solar system comets, which could indicate an origin from another stellar system. Now, let's get to the possible connection. Avi Loeb, the Harvard astronomer, has raised this idea. Atlas's path in the sky is only slightly distant from the WOW signal source, about 4 degrees in one direction and 8 degrees in the other. Based on Avi Loeb's calculations, if Atlas's current path is traced backward, it reaches an area close to the potential source of the WOW signal, a distance of about 4 to 8 degrees in the sky. Coincidence? Maybe. But the probability of such a coincidence is estimated at less than 1%, about 0.6% based on Loeb's calculations. 
Loeb has calculated that if Atlas was about 600 astronomical units away in 1977, this number is approximate and estimated from the current path, to produce such a pulse, a source with output power equivalent to several nuclear reactors would be needed, around 0.5 to 2 gigawatts. Let's assume ATLAS is an advanced device that sent a signal to scan our system. Of course, this is just an idea and has no direct evidence, but this hypothesis has occupied many minds, yet there is still no direct evidence of a connection. Loeb has suggested checking ATLAS with radio telescopes, something that hasn't been done yet, and could be the key to solving the mystery. Compare ATLAS with Oumuamua and Borisov. All three have non-gravitational acceleration, strange shapes, and paths from other stars. Oumuamua was like a cigar without gas. Borisov, a normal gaseous comet. But ATLAS is green, active, and gigantic. Recently, studies have shown that Oumuamua might have come from a molecular cloud, and Borisov has a chemical composition similar to our own comets, but Atlas with its mass breaks all patterns. Maybe these are part of a pattern. Maybe wandering rocks, or maybe emissaries from distant civilizations with technologies we can't even imagine. Sometimes we think about it. Maybe they are signs of something we're not yet ready to understand. Maybe the wow signal was the beginning of a chain, a short hello from the heart of the cosmos in 1977. And now, Atlas has come to deliver the next part of that message. Maybe a welcome, maybe a tool to watch us. This idea of reverse contact is interesting. We are always searching for life outside Earth, but maybe they found us a long time ago. Of course, maybe it's our mind seeking meaning because it can't cope with the unknown. Do we see every strange phenomenon as a sign of intelligence, or is there really something behind it? Time on a cosmic scale works strangely. Maybe that signal was sent thousands of years ago, and its sender has long been gone. In fact, maybe we are talking to the past of the cosmos, not its inhabitants. But if it's real, what then? Is humanity ready? In addition, Atlas has seven major anomalies. Enormous size, unusual mass, premature activity, unbalanced metal ratios, strong non-gravitational acceleration, unexpected color change, and a hyperbolic path indicating an external origin. Future observations, when Atlas reaches its closest point to the Sun on October 30th, 2025, and then passes, could unlock the secrets. Now, Loeb has suggested checking Atlas with radio telescopes. Still not done. If a signal is found, the game changes. Let's assume these are part of a wave. The cosmos is full of these visitors, and we're just starting to notice. For example, Oumuamua was discovered in 2017 and created much discussion about its cigar-like shape, which might be due to nitrogen ejection. Borisov, in 2019, the first interstellar comet with a gas halo. Now Atlas, with its size and mass, might indicate greater diversity in interstellar objects. Maybe Atlas shows that our periodic table is incomplete, elements we haven't discovered yet, and we've only understood a small part of our own cosmos. Maybe new elements, maybe secrets of extraterrestrial life. This discovery forces us to reevaluate our place. Maybe it's just the beginning, an invitation to explore more. Maybe that 72 second pulse was just a hello. And now, Atlas is the response. Look at the sky. Maybe they're listening to us right now. Maybe a sign of something bigger. Maybe these two events are like two pieces of a puzzle that we don't know the final image of yet. Maybe that sound in 1977 was the beginning of contact, and Atlas is just one of the messengers coming toward us from other corners of the galaxy. Now, perhaps in the form of a mysterious comet, Whatever it is, one thing is clear. 
The cosmos is speaking to us. It's just a matter of whether we know how to listen or not.